Also, the president's reaction and decisions to crack down on agitators and criminal elements in the southeast have caused varying reactions from across the country. While some agree with the president's approach, others have stated otherwise. Osaogi Ogbonwan reports. President Muhammad Buhari said his administration will shock those who want to destroy the system. During a meeting with the INEC leadership, the president said, in quote, those misbehaving today are too young to be aware of the destruction and loss of lives during the Nigerian civil war. Those of us in the field for 30 months who went through the war will treat them in a language they understand, end of quote. A cross-section of Nigerians have described the statements as unpresidential and threatening. Unpresidential it is quite irreprehensible. I think every Nigerian should come out and condemn the statement because we need to break down that statement to understand what the president was trying to do by putting out that statement. And look at what his choice of word. We would teach them in the language they understand. What does he mean by that? Basically, he was saying that, oh, older Igbos did not tell the younger Igbos the horror of the war. We would revisit that war. We will revisit the horror of that war to them. For him to have come out and said the things he had said, the way, you know, he said them, right, in the context and the manner in which he said them, on the platform in which, in which he, said, he said it, right, just... You know, it's a classic textbook case of, you know, how not to understand and how not to communicate your non-understanding of a very, very sensitive situation. Analysts have also condemned this development, which they have described as a seemingly military approach. I mean, even without the president's reaction yesterday, the possibility of, you know, the security um, authorities uh, are carrying out any of the activities without you know the sept uh, you know under the sector of you know human rights or or you know without anyone being susceptible to human rights abuses was probably non-existent our security authorities have shown and have a well-documented track record of human rights abuses so that wasn't going to happen the president's statements probably just um amplified the space you know and the opportunity uh, uh, for that to happen which, you know which is uh, you know which is tragic and unfortunate because like you write the point the fact of the matter is, no matter the level of militarization um, of the landscape in Nigeria, that will not stop people from agitating. The solution is always dialogue. It is far better for us to judge John now, either convoke a sovereign national conference or go back to the ones did by Jonathan's regime. In its response, the opposition People's Democratic Party advised the president to stop issuing threats and act decisively to end insecurity in the country. Osao Gie Ogmawa, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.